Welcome in to Sparkle Haven at Crystal Cove, all my friends and family. My name is Lazy Retired Granny, and I will be your hostess for about the next hour while we diamond paint together. Today is Wednesday, the 20th of November, 2024. The time is 6.51 a.m. here in Windy showery Salem, Oregon. And beside me, I have my hot breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer in my awesome mug from my Diamond Daughter Crafting with Bee. And underneath the wax lamp, we are going to put this wax from my Diamond Daughter Rebecca. And we got shadows today. And this is Rainbows of Unicorn. Mmm. <laughs> All right, let me go put it underneath the lamp. Tomorrow, we start our winter wax melts. I think I picked out all winter ones anyway. Okay, I am continuing my journey of laying down drills on on um, this canvas, <laughs> which is from Sunniture. And unfortunately, I can't find the picture of it. Let me get my little book out. I think, yeah, I put a picture of it in my log. There you go. Yeah, I did not, <clears throat> excuse me, get this area completed yesterday as planned. But that's okay. We'll give it a whirl today. All right, so get some wax in here. And this does have 49 colors and six ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. Those are the sparkly drills. All right. And get the dollar store readers out. And I am, what am I doing? The M's. Oh boy, what a morning, what a morning, what a morning. Yesterday, I fell asleep. Probably about 3.30 probably, maybe, watching TV. I woke up about, I don't know what time it was, 7.30, and let Ellie outside and turned off the TV and shut down the house, let her back in, gave her her cookies, went to bed and slept until 2.30 this morning. Yeah, my body just said, you know what? You need sleep. <laughs> I did a lot yesterday and um, yeah, I was, I was hopping all morning and I got most of my to-do list done. However, now my to-do list has changed a little bit. And I have to kind of redo some stuff. So, I'm gonna be doing that today. This morning at least. I'm hoping it won't take me very long, so. While this is uploading, I hope to get that project done. 
And let's see. Yeah, we were supposed to have a windstorm come in yesterday afternoon. If it happened, I missed it because I was snoring. We didn't lose power. I don't think any trees fell down. So I haven't read any of the updates on Facebook to see if anybody mentioned if that happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't had a sleep like that in a long time where I mean, I snooze. I, you know, I, I can take a nap for about, you know, an hour, hour and a half or so. And then I get up and I'm good to go for a few hours, but not yesterday. Yeah. So consequently, I did not get much diamond painting done yesterday and that's okay. And because I have no rules with my diamond painting, just do it when I feel like it. <laughs> do you guys do that? There's some days that, yeah, I would sit here all day and diamond paint. It just seems like. I don't know, for a while now, I've just had a lot of ambitious projects that I've been doing around the house. I do want to say, Beth, if you are listening, I asked if I had permission to steal this, but I'm going to steal it anyway. I was watching her whip and chat it's Beth over at, oh, I forgot her title again. You know, I just, um, it is Beth's Bookish Reviews. I, I know what it is, but I want to say it correctly. Um, anyway, she had a whip and chat a couple days ago, and I finally watched it this morning. I am so far behind on videos. Got a dog hair in there. Um, but anyway, she was talking about um, uh, doing the same canvas as other ones on here. And she called it a buddy paints and I screamed out or, out to her of course she couldn't hear me um, and I said Beth I love that I'm stealing it <laughs> and I put in her comments you know can I steal that <laughs> so And there's our music for this hour. I like Betty Paints, but um, did I get all of those? <coughs> I was trying to think. It's just a fun thing to say, Betty Paints. Um, and I thought, well, maybe I could do a 
I couldn't do Betty Diamond Paint. It just didn't have the same ring to it, but so yeah, for right now I'm staying with Betty Paints. And so I'm adding that to our notebook. And that is what we will be calling when we're all working on the exact same canvas. And as always, and then we will have another section for ones that are, okay, so like this one. If you have this canvas, it would be, and you're laying down drills on it with me, it would be a buddy paint. But if you were, uh, you know what? I don't want to make it complicated. So, okay, here's the deal. It does not have to be the same canvas. Same theme. How about that? I like that. Just like Tita has her themes, and it could be any in that theme. So this one would be like a theme. Ooh, a buddy theme. So anything that's a snow scene, uh, you know, Christmas scene, uh, all that. How about that? Do you guys like that? Do you like that idea? Not all of my ideas are brilliant. I rely on you guys. Because this is a village. And we share all this stuff together, right? Right. So did you guys pick out the canvases that you're going to be showing when I do the Christmas premiere? Don't send them to me yet. We don't want to bog down the emails that I have issues with. <clears throat> I think I got all of those. I am really loving this canvas. Yeah, this is a nice canvas for me. I did uh, fire off an email to them about... You know, hey, this does not match this. <laughs> I sent him pictures. I said, I love the canvas, and I'm just going off what, what the key that came on the canvas. It's no big deal. But just an FYI, a feedback. Okay, <clears throat> so that's that. What do I want to do next? I think I'll do the D's. All right, where's the D's? Seven. A lot of blues right here. That's okay. I like blues. Oh, I need some coffee. So is anybody, um, are you fixing Thanksgiving dinner if you live in the United States? Um, yep, yeah, just around the corner now. Be here before we know it. Days are flying by. Oh my gosh, this month. It's like, okay, what did I accomplish this month? What have I been doing that makes it go so fast? So, let's see, what's today the, okay, so today.
day. Okay, so we've got a week and one day till Thanksgiving. So are you making Thanksgiving dinner or are you going somewhere? My daughter-in-law has to work Thanksgiving and that she is going to make a Thanksgiving dinner on the following Saturday. So Thanksgiving's on Thursday and we'll do it on Saturday, which is fine. doesn't have to be the exact date. But my son next door, <clears throat> he is going to put a ham on his Traeger on Thanksgiving. So, yeah, we'll be having some ham. But I'll save the pigging out. For Saturday. She makes the best potato salad. Mm -hmm. She always sends them home with me. Yeah. Mm, yum yum. I am thinking about doing a mini Thanksgiving dinner. Like what I used to do when I had the dinners at my house. And I'll make just a small turkey. And some dressing. And potatoes and gravy. And... And then I'm going to make small salads that I like. Now my favorite salads that I always made during the holidays. A fruit salad. A shrimp salad. And a broccoli cauliflower salad. And a cucumber salad. Now, I was the only one, really, that gobbled down on those. I always had a lot of leftovers. <clears throat> so, yeah, I would send turkey home, leftover turkey with, you know, people who wanted it. And I would pig out on the salads. Yeah. Yeah. For a couple days. I don't know when I'm going to make them, so did I oh there's a D I messed up in this corner. I better get it. Yeah, so I'll be doing that here between Thanksgiving and Christmas sometime. I make a, oh, from when the kids were little, I made uh, this baked beans with those little sausages 
and either that or the um, bacon and yeah anyway I I would have to think of my recipe for it but anyway I would make that and my son upstairs he loves that so he said that's what I'm supposed to bring again for the dinner so I gotta get out my recipe for that and get that bought up tomorrow when I go grocery shopping with my son next door David And then I will make that Saturday morning. It's super easy to make because you just put it in the slow cooker. Yeah, it only takes about an hour to make. I mean, you know, to let it simmer and get all those flavors mixed in. Boy, there's a lot of D's here. I didn't know there was, of course, there's lots of blue in this. I think this is going to be gold. Yes. It's a good wintry scene to lay down drills on. get to emails because I'm concentrating too much on my D's because I got to concentrate on the D's and the C's because they're right next to each other. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, turn off the light. Lights, camera, action, except for we're doing the opposite. Turn off lights. Turn on the camera. All right, Dari sent a couple emails. And this is her dog, Champ. And she said, this is after his walk. He's all tuckered out. He says, I need a nap. Oh, it's after walk and dinner. And she said, his hair is missing because <clears throat> these dogs called bullies attack him. I pulled him up by his harness, held over him over my head and called animal control. By the time they got here, they were gone. Thank God he wasn't hurt other than missing hair. Oh. Is that by his ear? I'm looking. I'm looking. Here's the picture. You know... Dogs should not be um, out on their own. Uh, 
Okay, Carol. A finish and a new start. Hi, Granny from Dotting Crazy Carol. Love listening to your morning chats. You always make me laugh. I am attaching my recent finish of Santa and his reindeer. Not crazy about this one. First of all, it is dark. The reindeer look frightened and or frightening. <laughs> LOL. Santa doesn't even have any toys. The one I am laying drills on now is a Hannah Lynn from DAC called Star Chasers. After two budget-friendly square kits, working on this is a treat. Hope you and Ellie are having a great day. All right, let's look at Santa. Well, maybe he's just testing it out. They're going for a test drive. And the reindeer are putting up their hooves saying, No, no, we don't want to. It's not time yet. <laughs> or maybe they're all done. And his sack is empty. They're going home for the winter. And the reindeer are ready to take off. They're worn out. <laughs> and here's Hannah Lynn. All righty. Got a lot of purple in it. I have never, oh, I keep looking at the wrong screen. Ugh. Um, I've never done a Hannah Lynn, and I, um, hold on one moment here. I'm looking something up. Um, Oh, where'd it go? It's dark in here and I can't see my keyboard. It does light up, but... Um, Okay, um, yeah, I've never done a Hannah Lynn before, so. Margie, completion and new start. Completion of Diamond Dots, Thomas Kincaid, Seaside Hideaway, 42 by 52. And then the new start, Church in the Forest, 45 by 60, 32 colors, two ABs, and adding more from Captured by Radiance. Okay, let's look at the diamond dot one. This is a beautiful canvas. And of course, my favorite is the cottages. Just gorgeous. Lots of detail in that. Of course, you know, his canvases always are. And then the second one. Ooh, look at that. Got the mountains, the stream. Got it all going. Trees. I've never heard of this company before. Are they a regular company or are they from 
Amazon or let's see, what did she say? Captured by Radiance. Let me look that up. Let me get over here. Up. Okay, let's see what it is. It was founded by two sisters that are passionate about diamond painting and diamond painting pins. Okay, let's look. Let us take a gander what they've got. Oh, wow. Oh, they've got some Dominic Davison. So can you, oh, here we go, artists. Oh, it says coming soon. Let's see what it says here. Adrian Chesterman. Oh. <coughs> um. Okay, this one, A Christmas Village <clears throat> by Rose Prophet. This artist, it says she was originally from New Zealand and now she lives in Melbourne. All right, so let's see what it says about this canvas. It's very pretty. A Christmas Village. Uh, $68.95 for the United States, tax included. Not for sure what that means. And let's look at the size. Whoops. Got lots of colors. I don't know the size of it. I can't read it. And it's not in the description. <coughs> oh man, excuse me. Okay, well, I did check out that site. Alrighty, next up, uh, Jill. Dear Granny and Ellie, just finished this DAC tonight. It's almost a 60 by 80 centimeters, slightly smaller, square drill. I single placed it in 27 days. For multi-placers, it's a canvas full of multi-placing. Here in Saskatchewan, we are having our first snow of the season. Oh, I'm jealous. I want snow. Um, it is to last 24 hours. About a foot of snow accumulated. All right. What? What's going on? What happened? There we go. Oh, that is adorable. That's so cute. This would be right up your, your alley, Autumn. Uh, 
I think she likes snowmen. And it's mine because look what it has. Yep, it's got that lamp that I like, or light, whatever it is. <laughs> that is cute. Okay. This just doesn't. What is going on with this? All right, Teresa just finished Christmas Fireplace from Diamond Art Club. Didn't we show this or was it a finish? Well, you know what? We're going to see it again. Maybe she responded to my email. Because I know that you show just the frames. Let's look at that again. Because it is beautiful. And she framed it so beautiful. She got these this frame kit at Walmart. That is really pretty. And here's that. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. All right. And then I got a email that Dreamer Designs is having a flash sale. Buy one, get one 60% off on selected canvases. And let's see if there's any in here that... I need to check out. Ooh, do I have Mountain Keep Castle? Ah, can I remember what I have? Is that the only ones? All right, shop sale now. The code is Flash 60. 67 products, oh wow. Alright, let's see. Mountain Keep Castle. Ooh, Christmas mailbox. Alright, I know you guys want to see. Alright, let's see if I can hold this up while I'm looking. I can't remember if I have the Mountain Keep Castle or not. Not that I need it. Oh, what's that? Winter Wonderland Chapel. Who's that by? Sorry, I have to. Okay. Not one of my artists. So. Oh, no thanks. Okay. Santa's Sparkle Express. This just has not enough color for me on some of these. I have Christmas Mountain View. Who's that by?
I'm sure you can go to your to the web page and these are all on here. And I'm just showing you. <gasps> There's a Nikki Bomi. I don't have that one yet. Hey Ellie. She's gonna bump my arm. I think. Yeah, that's another Nikki Bomi. I don't have that one. And you know what? That would have been good if Santa hadn't been in there, but I'm kind of picky on that. They do have a lot in here for the, if I want to get 60% off, that would make them, you know, 30% off each one. See what else we got here. Um, Dari. Got done with these a few minutes ago and she just sent these. So she did the bears. I think that's from Diamond Art Club or Diamond Art Club. Um, Diamond Dots. And here's another picture of it. Oops, forgot to supersize it. There we go. Yeah, that turned out so well, so cute. I was going to do mine and then I didn't. And, and she says, laying down drills on this one I got from Timu the other day. Oh, skeleton. <laughs> all right, that's all the emails. Hey, Ellie, were you saying hi while I was busy? Huh? Ellie, are you mad at me? Come here, girl. Come and say hi. I got distracted. Here she comes. She's on her way. She's ready to give her a secret message. Yes, you are, girl. <laughs> okay, turn back on the light some light on the subject. Ellie, you are funny. You are my funny bunny. Yes, you are. Do you want to show your mug on, on, on camera? Ellie, here, I'm going to, Ellie, let's see if I can flip this around. There she is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Ellie, I love you. You're so funny. Alrighty then. Now, let's get over to comments, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, get over here. Okay, we're off and rolling here. Denise Hudson. Hi, Granny. Great gap session. It really makes my day slash night. 
Everyone's projects are so nice. I've seen a lot of the DAC Christmas fireplace. It's so peaceful looking. Take care and God bless. Oh, the landlord just went by with a big truck full of limbs. I am glad that you guys enjoy me showing off the emails that you guys send. Um, Mardell, I am a crocheter and have followed Crystal since she started it. It will be sad not to see her smile, but it's her channel to do whatever she wants to do. I love listening to you gab while I lay down the drills. You know, that is perfectly correct. She has been on YouTube for so many years. I mean, longer than a lot of people. Um, what's it been? Wow, I know it's been over 10 years. Um, and she has started out with just tutorials. And then, you know, she has changed it up off and on throughout those years, which I think any YouTube creator does. There's always changes to your channel. And you just do what is comfortable for you, what fits in your schedule, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, I do agree with you. It will be, she said she's not going to do any more lives. And, but, you know, she does so much good stuff and she just gets put down for it. Oh, so many hateful people out there. Negative people. I feel so sorry for her. She's such a kind-hearted, loving woman. And, um... Um... Yeah, it's just sad. Just sad. Okay, Teresa said, you asked what was growing over the door in the picture. And I was guessing wisteria, LOL. You know what? You're probably right. I do not know plants or any gardening stuff. I am not a gardening person. So, <laughs> I like looking at it. I think it's beautiful. I love seeing all the gardens and stuff, but to know anything that's going on, mm, nope. Okay, Angie E says, my little tree is from Timu. Also, Ellie is so cute. She was sending us so many messages today. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, she loves to send secret messages. <laughs> and Margie, nice chat. Hope that sunshine fixes or bleh. I hope that sunature fixes your <laughs> issue. That's weird. Thought and prayers to Dari and family. Pray that all goes well for her. What a time of year to get that kind of news. Thanks for sharing. Hugs. Wouldn't it be nice if at least two months of the year, November and December, everything was perfect for people? <laughs> I mean, the rest of the year is a test for us. That's what I call it. It's just a test to see if we can make make it through those tough times. And then, for some reason, things usually turn out. Or, you know, it is what it is. Whatever 
is in our future has already been decided, I think. So, uh, Denise Hudson. Hi, Granny. Hope your kit up went well. I don't watch the news either. Too much bad news that I really don't want to hear. I will pray for B mom, B's mom. Take care and blessings. Um, Oregon chick. Oh, I'm not telling you what these are. This is the Hershner's. Oh, this is from an old, old um, video that I put up <laughs> that was on my Facebook page that I transferred over to YouTube. It's the Hershner's 12 Days of Christmas Crafts. Thought I would go way back to see what you were up to years ago. Did you do any of those puzzles or projects? I did. Um, the puzzles, my grandson. Oh my gosh, what year was that? Oh my gosh, that has been so many years. It was more... I thought it was more than four years ago. But yeah, my grandson, who is now just about 15... We did the puzzles, and we tried to do those um, diamond painting bell things, but that didn't work out so well. Um, and what else was in there? I can't remember. But yeah, that was actually, let me go in. All right, that is in my playlist, is it? Oh my gosh, when was that? All right, this says knitting and yarn. Maybe it's in there. Oh my goodness, I can't even. All right, wait a second. Videos. Oh my gosh, did they? How do you do that? Let's do it this way. It only brings up one video. Is it this one? Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, there's that pattern I was looking for. Um, 12 days. Here it is. Hershner's 12 Days of Christmas Crafts. I'd have to watch it to see what was in there. Yeah. Um, Ross picked me over at Smells Like Yarn to receive um, that gift. That was so sweet of him. I really liked it. Now I lost that. Okay. Um, let's keep going here. How, much, how long have I been on here? 54 minutes. Okay. Um, all right, these are going to be on our um, whip and chat. Julie, bright eyes, I am here for you. Don't, don't matter what you are doing. I love listening to you while I diamond paint. Your channel is the best. Oh dear, what did I say? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dari, I had the bifocals with the lines and without the lines. They kept giving me migraine headaches. You know, for me, I was a bobblehead. Um, you know, bobbing my head up and down using all those lines. And uh, yeah, 
That did not work for me, whether it was lined or unlined. Peggy B Designs. Hi, Granny. What I'm working on is my Diamond Dot Santa, hoping to finish today. Then go to Diamond Dot Gnomes and also working on my Timu Fall Pumpkin Canvas. Healing thoughts to Dari's sisters and sister and hugs to Ellie. Let me get the book out. Let's see. Okay, I can put the book there because it's not on my canvas. All right, so that is Peggy. Peggy. Do I have more than one Peggy? Oh, there it is. Peggy B. But I think you finished that. All right, and then Peggy B. I am just going to put you down for um, Diamond Dots. And Timu. There we go. All right, got you in the book. All right, and then Pammy. Hi, Granny. This is Pammy. You asked if my DAC calendar is from Hobby Lobby. Yes, it is. Thanks for sharing my progress photo. Yeah, I'm going to do my calendar once a month at the beginning of each month or the last day of the month. Who knows? Uh, Julie S. Oh, my gosh. I still feel bad that I was the bearer of bad news. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, not really. Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out to me. There's two canvases that <clears throat> I had on my wish list from Dreamer, and she let me know that um, they've been archived. <laughs> I just that felt so silly that I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> I checked eBay and Macari. And I will check them weekly. I have my friend watching the D-Stash sites on Facebook for both of them. I am determined to find that Victorian Christmas Village one. If I can't then find it, we can contact the artist and request permission to do it as a custom. <laughs> we'll figure out a way. <laughs> um, Julie, um... <laughs> You know what? It's fine. Um, I don't have to have it. It's just, it's a beautiful canvas. And, um, yeah. But, you know, and I have so many of hers that um, I still need to do. And, uh, <laughs> you know, but it's meant to be. Uh, that, you know... <laughs> She'll have more beautiful ones that I'll have to have over that one. So, <laughs> But I did sneak a peek and look for it, and I couldn't find it either. Um, and it is an expensive canvas, so, um, yeah. It, it, not... Um, well, you can read between the lines on that one. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll have to chat. Uh, crafting enthusiast, who's Autumn, I look forward to your videos every day. You are such a delight to listen to. That is a beautiful canvas, the one I'm doing now. Uh, thank you for your time and keeping us company. Hugs to you and Ellie. From your diamond daughter, Autumn. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, I like Autumn. Autumn is one of my diamond daughters. I just love her channel. Okay, Lola. Uh, Pam, don't push yourself. There's no deadline. Everything and everyone will patiently wait for you. Those are words to live by.
everything will come together. I was um, watching Diamonds by Tita, and yes, I am behind. Uh, she was, I was watching her whip and chat from Saturday, and she was talking about how grateful she is, you know, for just different things that happen in our in her life and um you know and whatnot and it's like you know girl you are right we need to count our blessings every single day no matter how small they are um and i do i've had a lot of things that have happened um and you don't always appreciate what you do have. And my blessings, gratefulness, and whatnot really, really started, I would say, in about 2010. And there was a time when I was tested and I needed that test because it got me back on track again to always count my blessings and be grateful all the time. And it doesn't matter if it's, um, I'm grateful I have a TV that I can sit down and watch, or I'm grateful that I have Ellie. Ellie is probably the best thing that's happened to me as far as companion wise for a pet. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, she is, we are joined at the hip. And if she goes before I do, yeah, it will be a loss to me. I am just, I can't take her for granted. She is just brought me so much joy and happiness. Like she's the best dog in the world. Very smart, very attuned to everything I do and always tries to please me. She is a dog that doesn't want to be bad. You know, she's she's like that perfect child that always wants to do good. Um, yeah, I could gush on about her all day in the next week. So into next week and into the next year. Um, you know, I, our blessings that we have every day, we have running water, electricity, we have a roof over our head, we have food to eat no matter what it is. Um, I have my family around me, part of my family around me. I have the best landlords on the face of this earth and you know I could go on and on every little thing I have diamond paintings to do I have friends here on YouTube I have all of you all of you that just put a smile on my face every single day and that I get this opportunity to have a YouTube channel and share it with all of you and I know there's a lot of people out there that live by themselves. They don't have family, whatever the circumstances are. And they get on YouTube and listen, you know, and listen and watch. And for some of the channels, it's like sitting down with a friend and having a cup of coffee. And that is the whole thing that I want to accomplish with this channel. And I've said it before. It's not just my channel. I want to share it with all of you. You are all a part of this channel. And that's why it's so important to me that when we do this Christmas premiere, that you all are involved, as many of you as possible. And we can share what a little piece of our life, whether it's diamond painting, our animals, you know, whatever we're blessed or grateful for, 
yeah. And it's just the love of being part of a community. So I hope I've accomplished something in my life with this channel that, you know, that's what I want this channel to be. I, I'm not, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer or, um, you know, a drama channel or um, there's plenty of those out there. Um, There's everything out there on YouTube anymore. <laughs> Whatever you want to watch, it's there. <coughs> so I see my clock is about ready to sing again, which means I've been on here for over an hour. But I will try to jibber-jabber a little bit more so that we can have a final song. But I did just want to say that I do appreciate every one of you as always, I look forward to these videos every single morning. And every, you know, to sit down and chat with you guys and gab and share all those wonderful things that I'm blessed with. So, um, what else do I want to, you know, I had my little um, tree farm over here. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off so I don't wear down the battery so that we can see it again tomorrow. Yeah, so while this is uploading, I'm going to get my big project done. Um, hopefully, I can speed through it. And, oh, I better turn the light on so that you can hear the clock. Um, what else can I jibber-jabber with for about two minutes? I'm going to be doing another video for a product review that I am just so excited about. Oh my gosh, I can hardly wait to get this one done. So it will be a, a review, um, you know, an unboxing of it. And then I am going to complete, there's two of them, uh, two items. And I'm going to be completing them and then showing them on the second half of the video. <coughs> Oh, I apologize. I'm really getting a dry throat. Coffee, coffee, coffee. My coffee's just about gone. Um, in my cup. In my mug. So, yeah, down in the comments below, go ahead and tell me what, you know, what are you grateful for? What are you blessed with? Um, no matter what it is. And send me emails. Yep, need pictures. Oh, um, you know what? My clock is... Looks like we got about 50 more seconds. <laughs> this is going to be a long 50 seconds. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to get this done. And that was appropriate. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, with that, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for stopping by and keeping me company and diamond painting or whatever craft you were doing. And I will jibber-jabber with you tomorrow morning.